This is my game room. It's pretty bad. It's utter chaos and I need to fix it. So in order to do that, I need a couple of things. One, a TV stand to go right there and get this situation cleaned up. And two, a couch so we can finally get it set up and get some gaming done in here. Those things cost money, probably about $3,000. So today I needed to get aggressive with making some sales. I'm gonna estimate maybe one third will be profit. So I wanna get $9,000 in items listed today so that we can get rolling on this game room. But first, I'm super excited to introduce something new that I'll probably use frequently in my personal life and business. And it's created by a good friend of mine, very business-minded friend named David. I'm David and this is Gift Tag. I've wanted something like this for years. And the more people I talk to, the more people wanted it too. That's why I went ahead and started the Kickstarter. So before we talk about that, what do you think of the game room? Uh, it's got potential. <laughs> I'll take it. You don't like that? <laughs> no. It's literally better than a business card. Let us explain. If you're a bad gift giver like me, or you're just tired of running around and stopping at ATM to get a card and a gift, <laughs> gift tag is the best way to send a personal video so you don't need to write it, you can say it. Yeah, you can literally keep these in your glove box of your car on the way to the party you forgot. We'll throw it in one of the cards, put the gift on there, you're good to go. I love that. In addition to that, like for businesses, so key customers or people that you sell things to or want to buy from and say, hey, thank you. Here's an extra 25 bucks. Sell me everything else you got. You can upload a pre-rendered video. So that means your highlight reel of your business, yep. your pitch deck, anything. You can even put a little gift card in there to sweeten the pot. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Let them pick the gift that they want and take the guest work out of it. Check the link below for the Kickstarter. It's all there. Let's show David what our community can do. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'll be putting in hundreds and I know some of you guys will too. So do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. So we're gonna search through the inventory on all of these shelves, all of these shelves, and all of the bins on the 12 foot shelf wall. And the most exciting part is gonna be going to the other shed where there's still some very high end inventory systems, hobby shop items, super, super nice stuff yet to be uncovered. And we're gonna dig through and find the best stuff today, hopefully we can meet our goal. The good thing is I've already been working for two hours and have 73 items added to a batch to be sent off to Amazon. Let me show you what we got. I used a listing software called Acceler List to send off all of these items to Amazon FBA. The listed value, $2,000. So that's a pretty good start, but uh, that took two hours of very, very focused work. That still leaves us needing to get 7,000 more in listed value. And uh, yeah, we still got a long ways to go. So I forgot, but we had a giant shipment from our whatnot show yesterday to do. We cranked that out, but now we only have two and a half hours until our live Discord call. I still want to make this thing happen, so we're going to have to get really creative, and it's going to take all four hands on deck. Al Pal. That's me. It's so hard to point the right way. Al Pal, you need to list on eBay. We're doing 10 items a day. Get 10 valuable items. Okay. That's the main thing we need. Show the people what you're listing as you list it. Matt, over this way. Come here with me. So Matt, he is the console sales and repair among other things that he does this bin i think will be very important to get through because it has a bunch of n64s on the bottom and then these four handhelds on top i would focus on the four handhelds because those have good value and they're quick and easy after that i'm going to go over to the shed and find you hopefully some really valuable systems that you can also process so that's your task for now sky guy i'm going to need you to come with me real quick or perhaps actually i'm going to send you to the shed you, you think you can find some good stuff i can try <laughs> <laughs> this boy lost his mind. I can try, sir. <laughs> well, I need you to do that because I have this bin right here of games that were really recently tested or cleaned. We're at $2,000 listed. The goal is 9,000. We got 7,000 more to go now in two hours and 15 minutes. After you go to the shed, you're going to need to um, do an entire whatnot show. Get it scheduled, listed, everything. That could be a really good way to get a bunch of stuff listed and added and like ready to go. Like and stuff? Buy it now is in addition to a really good auction. Okay. So it looks like the disc cleaner is done. Now this is gonna be an essential part of this operation because I have all of these discs that could be clean. They're good to go, good quality games to list on Amazon. So I need to make sure that I start the next batch, get those started because as I'm working, this thing will be working and that's an essential part of the job. Also, I've separated this entire stack of games that I think will all be good for Amazon. So if I get my entire bin done, I've got a place to come, find a bunch more, 
but I gotta get to listing. Okay, I am in the barn and I need to find some stuff. I think I'm gonna have to go up there to find some stuff. There's some good like console type things that uh, will complete some of our consoles that we can send off to Amazon. So I'm definitely gonna take a look up there first. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so we have all these bins up here some of them say test and clean i see some consoles in there so those need like the full rundown this is just all unprocessed i don't really want to mess with that this is just unprocessed wheeze and ps2s we can get wheeze done really quick so maybe but i want to see if there's stuff that we can list right away i think we can complete one of our wii u consoles with that so we'll have to look at that this is clean and test what are these oh my gosh these are sega cds and in here N N64 stuff. Okay, so these might have been like N64 returns and just other unprocessed. We'll definitely take this bin. Let's take a better look in here. We have some Wii consoles. And some Xbox, PS2, Nintendo. It looks like all the cords are in here with all of these. These Wiis look like they could use some work, but we have our new and improved testing station. So I think we'll grab this bin. All right, so I am over here. This is kind of where I keep all the potential eBay items to list. And I see a few things here that are definitely on the higher end. For instance, this sealed case of 1990 hockey cards. This was listed on eBay a long time ago. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that and see what it's worth. I know it's in the hundreds for sure. This Fleischmann train set Chase grabbed a while back. We sold some Fleischmann trains in the past. I'm gonna guess that's an easy hundred, probably $200 right there. And then this book of stamps. Not quite sure what that's gonna go for. I'm gonna look up on Worth Point um, some comps, but there is a ton of stamps in here. Um, so I'm going to take those three and uh, see what we can find on them. I just pulled out this Wii U and it's actually in there. We have not tested. I think it's got everything in there. So we'll we'll bring that in too, just to be safe. So we do have some more Wii stuff, I guess. Oh, and a Zelda DS, my goodness. And some NESs, I know we have a lot of those already. And I wanna look in here as well. I have no idea what this box is. Looks like it's got some Wii controllers and stuff. Weird Xbox thing and then an N64. Okay, well, Matt's already working on a bunch of those, so maybe I'll just bring that out for him. Okay, Matt, how's it coming? Uh, well, so far, I've tested five. Four out of those five have had jammed reset buttons. So, <sighs> they can't play games if it's constantly trying to reset. Dang, so you'd have to take apart all, all of those. Not really what we're going for on a day like today. <laughs> Hoping for quick and easy. Hopefully, Sky Guy finds you something better. An N64? But hopefully, you can still make something happen. This is number five. And it's shaking, it's rattling. Yeah, it's got a hole. Oh. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't even worry about that one. <laughs> we can't sell that. And I just added all of those from the disc cleaner, those top seven. So I gotta get to listing all these and I'll let you guys know how much in value these will be. Hopefully a good bit. All right, so that was six bins. Honestly, I don't know if I need to hunt down here anymore, but regardless, let's take a look. Now, Alpal already has stuff to list on eBay. So all of these bins, probably whatever, um, some unprocessed hobby shop stuff. I don't think I should worry too much about those. I have enough consoles, Xbox controllers. I don't want that. Like I'm really leaning towards these whatnot bins because I need to get a whatnot ready. So it's just kind of untested stuff, which means I'll probably have to test it so we can get it working for whatnot. Those just look like cases, just good stuff. But we also have like 12 whatnot bins already on the storage system. Ooh, what's back here? But I think I have enough on the storage wall currently uh, to be able to build a pretty good whatnot show. So I think I'm just going to leave everything else in here for now. First 14 games listed, the value $275. Let's add it to the total. And Matt, I assume you're scrapping the N64s and moving on. Yep, I got two that did work, so I will add those. But... Okay, two good to go. Handhelds, how are we looking? Good, I just, I'm Ooh. adding a third one. This is a good one too. The new 3DS, that's yep. gotta be like 200 bucks. Yep. All right, I got another bin. This is this is this is here. cool stuff. So my GameCube cases. I'm thinking these would be great for whatnot. These are like backpacks and stuff. So I've got this bin for whatnot. Anything with a blue sticker is for whatnot. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We have a lot. So I grabbed this box. I see some like really solid stuff. Hey, we can give that away. It's a cool Nintendo wallet. Um, so there's like some nice giveaways. Some apparently some box stuff. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck are we doing with this all in here? That's cool. But as I'm looking at this, there's just a GameCube in here. 
Oh my gosh. It's just a Pokemon XD GameCube just sitting in here, like ready to go. Real? I want... <laughs> Yeah. That'll work. Let's get that <laughs> tested. All right, so I'm giving some handheld stuff to Matt and uh, you just open that up and it's full of games. So yeah. that's that's cool. Uh, see you with Chase if any are Amazonable. I'm also gonna start going through some bins and see if there's anything for you, mister. I just found this bin. It's been chilling under here. Like, here's another handheld for Matt. There you go. Like Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. That's a solid one, Chase. There you are, sir. All right, so I'm just digging through these. I'm finding some NES games, like a cool GameCube game that we might be able to complete. So I'm gonna have to show that to Chase. But I found this game and Alpal said that uh, Ren and Stimpy Fire Dogs is worth 50 on eBay. Uh, it's gonna take some cleaning up, but we'll probably give that to him. Uh, Chase, this bin is filled with goodies. Like I'm pulling oh, out so yes. many handhelds. Like, look at this. This is oh, yeah. uh, green. Is that legit? Yeah, that's the Play It Loud Green. Play It Loud oh, Green. And then I have this. Nice. That looks like Hopefully it's... Hopefully that works. Yeah, um, I feel batteries in it, but like even more... Yeah, I, I, yeah I, so this came from a collection by that. The video actually did pretty well. This was the um, private garage sale pick that he had set up for me. Oh, yeah. We should link that in the description. Check that video out after this. That's where this came from. It's been in okay. our storage unit and kind of forgotten about. So this is just all the odds and ends from that? I spent thousands in that deal. Okay, well, this is all. <laughs> yeah, this is... yeah, can we start getting the money? Oh, my gosh. Action replay DSi. Dash Galaxy and the Alien. So I'm, I'm just going to continue to organize these and have you look at them. Um, I'm going to give all the handhelds to Matt. Whoa. To nice. Just another one. Another one. Love. Like, oh my goodness. Look at all these SNES games down here. Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness. What on earth? I'm glad you uncovered that one. This is fun. Are you guys having fun? Let me know. Nothing like crazy jumping out so far, but still super cool. Not to, oh, well, Alex isn't jumping because he doesn't know how to jump, actually. He's, yeah, he's, he's jump deficient. <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking at all these manuals, and these are actually manuals for the games that, like, there's the Jack Nicholas, there's the Dash Galaxy game right there. So a lot of these, like, have the manuals for them. So I'm starting to wonder if I should give them to you, Alpal, to check out maybe for eBay. Not right now, but yeah, in the future. The interesting ones, that would be... And then there's some good, like, look at this. Got Super Mario 64, Ooh. Super Mario World. Also, Rocky Rodent. Chase, that's a good one, right? That looks like a good one. Yes. It's got the look. So maybe, hopefully, Rocky Rodent is actually in here. That'd be cool. Game Shark Pro. Yeah, just so much stuff. All right. So after deliberating with Chase a little bit, we listed this hockey case for a grand. Yeah, $1,000. Um, I could only find one comp on this from years ago. I put that up for 300. Those stamps, I believe I put that up for 200. And then also, this decoy duck. <laughs> Uh, there's not any comps on it. Decoy ducks are interesting. So I went ahead and did that for an auction for $400. Are you serious? And if it doesn't sell, uh, we'll figure out something from there. Well, just added this game, NCAA Football 14, the OG sports game that just about everybody knows about. Great game, great value. Always pick this one up if you see it. And then I also added like a couple dozen games and got $495 an additional value added. We're moving on up. All right, so I've dug through pretty much all of this, but from here, I need Chase's help. Uh, Chase, um, I have a bunch of games here. I figured you'd be able to do a quick sweep and just pick out everything that you think would be good for Amazon. And then quick question, I found this controller. It says China Day One. Mm -hmm. Is this like- That just is a indeed a day one uh, controller. It's a little more uncommon. So I'm kind of just picking out popular titles that will sell pretty quickly and might have a strong buy box on Amazon. Buy box is if you hit add to cart, you get that item. These ones, Tecmo Super Bowl, you know, Life Force, Disney's Aladdin, Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat, Super Mario 3D, stuff like that. And that also will qualify to be in really nice condition, very good condition. There's some Sonic games Game as Shark well. Pro probably, that one's got a missing tab, so that would have to be eBay or whatnot. Yep. All right, Matt, what do you have ready to go here? All right, so I have this stack of very good. And then two acceptable. Matt will get these boxed up and then we'll add that to our total. So me and Chase pull down this bin of high-end cards to list. Chase has been helping me um, because I don't know much about cards. Uh, but we found this set from 1971 and it's baseball. And we're going to list this for $1,500. So that's going to help our bottom line a lot. Let's go! So we found another 
baseball set, and this one is even better. This one is getting listed up on eBay for $1,800. So two listings, $3,200. I don't know what everyone else has, but I'm feeling pretty good. Keep it up, Al Pal. Thanks, Chase. We got 10 minutes left until three o'clock, so we've kind of done what we can do. Everybody finish up what you got. We're gonna add up our totals here in just a sec. Hopefully we made it. I don't know. That was definitely a, a quick run. Alpal sets are gonna help, but uh, we, <laughs> we had $7,000 to fill in two and a half hours. So what do you think, Matt? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. He's optimistic. Sky guy, what do you think? I, I don't think I was able to contribute much a lot of my stuff was just better for you guys so that's a good thing i couldn't even add everything you gave me i added what i could add but most of my bin honestly is still left matt and i have 75 items added to the current shipment and he's finishing up a couple systems and then al pal that might help that's a good item yeah I i'm pretty confident i i do have one sale oh a private sale but okay he did send payment and it's pretty significant. Well, well, how much so I'm, I'll, 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 after we add up our total, I'll let you guys know. So these last four items I'm going to be able to put up to our total before time ends. These two Zippo lighters I listed for 100 a piece. This Aaron Judge refractor went up for 300 and this repacket sealer I put up for 430. Like I said, I'm feeling pretty confident for our totals. All right, gentlemen, the live call on the Discord is over. I have no idea the total. I don't think Matt does. I don't think Alex does. Chase. So bummer that we couldn't add the new 3DS because we don't have a stylus for it. We got to order one. Oh. But we don't sell them without the stylus. So that would have helped, but our total on Amazon and what we're adding to what I last reported is 1,915. The total 2,890 is what we did for Amazon. Wow. Which is really strong. For just a couple hours. Oh, and plus the original 2,000 oh. from this morning. Oh, I'm feeling good now. So that's 4,890. Now the game changer for today was finding these sets and I'm curious to see what Al Pal's final number was. So the final number was 6,100. <laughs> oh my God, 6,100. Say no more, Al Pal, just do the whole thing yourself. Wow. On 10 eBay listings. And just sold the 1970 set. It sold within, I think, half an hour for 1620. Oh my 1620. I got that about a year and a half ago. It's been chilling in this bin because I just, it was a complicated listing. That's awesome because I think I got it for 600 bucks. Shoot. At the card, boom. Vintage is the only thing that went up in value. <laughs> we still have more. Uh, well, uh, don't, uh, we, don't, we don't need to add the whatnot if we've already won. <laughs> I mean, uh, we'll call it a thousand bucks. I, I think it's a comfortable thousand. I did manage to add, I tried adding this guy, this guy, and these quickly last minute. So a nice. couple hundred. This guy, I think uh, I, I put it up uh, starting price at 325. Yes. They go for like it's 500. A, it's, a grail. it's just yeah. in terrible shape. Yep. Uh, those guys probably 80 a piece. All the all the things here like 10 bucks per. All the little lots 10 bucks. That Zelda thing 30 bucks. We'll call it a thousand. Conservative. Yes, exactly. very conservative. And then my sale. That oh I made yeah, privately. that's right. This was a day, man. Was for 1600. Bringing our total to 13,590 dollars with a projected one third profit of 4,400. Mind you, 1600 of that was pure profit from my last sale. So probably Heck more yeah. than that plus the sale that already. That's happened. awesome. So we far exceeded the goal, which is very exciting. So the couch and the TV stand will be coming soon. And we can get like a mini fridge too and, and fill not? it with fill it with drinks. Matt, Matt what do you want? Is like popcorn maker. Yes. <laughs> Alex, what do you want? Um, I mean, I just want to do that every day because if we do, we'll be like <laughs> 4.5 million in sales. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the thought of that. All we need so, is... <laughs> hit the like button for Al Pal's Big Man Thinking and we're going to be back next week. Crap, most thank Bartle Dew. Bye. Chase after the right price.